Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Hotpoint NSWF944 washing machine. And what I want to do today is to show you around the washer some of the features and benefits that it offers. But all I normally do, just before we start, is say subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances. There's normally a bit of tech in there as well. Vacuum cleaners. So just give us a quick subscribe, then we'll make a start. Hotpoint do a large range of washing machines. And what you'll find is that some of them look very similar to this on the front. The main things that can vary are things like the capacity. Uh, so on this particular model, it has a maximum load of up to nine kilograms. And also the spin speeds can vary. And the spin on this, the maximum is 1400. So what you can find is that there would be a seven and an eight and even a 10 kilogram version of this, where all the features and benefits are pretty much the same. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be showing you the nine kilogram version. The main things that can vary are things like the dimensions on the washing machine. Not so much the width and the height, so I'll just show you those first of all. So as far as the width, you're looking just under 60 centimetres or 23 and a half inches. And as far as the height, these all tend to be pretty standard at around what, 84 and a half centimetres or just under 33 and a half inches. Uh, but as I say, the main things that can vary are the depth on the machine. So if you were going to say the very front, just the well the lip here to the back of the machine, you're looking around 58 centimeters or just under 23 inches. Uh, if you did want to include the door as well, and then going all the way back, then really for the, the I suppose the minimum install depth, so that would include the pipes as well, then really you're looking at 64 centimeters or just over 25 inches. So just make sure you have a measure uh, that, to measure that you can get it in the space because there's nothing worse than ordering a machine than realising it doesn't fit. To turn the machine on, all you need to do is press and hold the on and off button just on the left hand side of the, the main programme dial. Uh, as far as the, as I say, the programme dial, it's easy to rotate. You can go in either direction and what it will do is you've got all of the programmes listed around the dial, uh, which is always a, a good option. Uh, as far as the display, it's a nice clear LED display. Uh, I do like the Hotpoint displays that normally go down well with customers. Uh, as far as the programs themselves, uh, what I'll do is I'll briefly run through some of the programs. Uh, I suppose the first one we're on is the Eco 40 to 60. Uh, some of the program times, uh, don't be put off by these. I know this is the this is the duration of the program. That's uh, showing at three hours forty. You know, for some people looking at that, you might think. You know, it is a, a long wash, uh, you know, I've, I've not got three and a half hours uh, to, to do my washing. Uh, but what you can do is there are options to speed the program up. What you'll find on some of these programs, the machine itself will actually measure the quantity of clothes in the wash. And the way it does that is it will send a certain amount of water through. And depending on how much water is saturated at the beginning of the program, then it will know roughly the uh, the capacity of the load in the machine and what it can do is normally after about 10-15 minutes it will reduce this uh, so you could find that some of these longer programs do reduce in time quite a bit uh, so this is the first one the eco 40 to 60 and with this program that's really designed for clothes that you would normally wash between 40 degrees and 60 degrees on this particular program it's only designed to be washed at 40 degrees you will find that this is the temperature option where you can normally change the temperature uh, but that program is really designed to be washed at 40. Uh, and this is really a setting that will be on all washing machines now this program the Eco 40 to 60 and it is really designed as a longer program to be more energy efficient. Uh, as far as some of the other main programs the the cotton program uh, you will find that you can change the temperature on this one so you can go up to 60 degrees and then down to 50, 40, 30, 20 and then even turn the temperature off. So what that will do is that will just wash in the temperature of the water that's arriving into the machine. Uh, so on some of these washes it's also to note that uh, with the Eco 40 to 60 then you can wash at the maximum of 9 kilograms and the same with the cotton as well. Uh, quite a few of these other programs you, you can't wash at the full 9 kilograms. So as you come round to say the synthetics program, uh, with that one, so that again you can change the temperature if you want to. So it's quite flexible on the temperatures. Uh, 
but what you'll find is that that's the, the spin speed you can only spin a maximum of 1200 spin uh, so although you can alter it underneath that so 1800 so it's quite flexible as far as the uh, the the spin speed is under that but what you'll find is that the load size on that program is a maximum of four and a half kilograms uh, what you will find is if you try and use some of these programs on a full load then all that will happen is the wash will take a lot longer to wash uh, or the other side of the coin is that the washing performance won't be that great so just to whiz through some of these programs so you've got things like the woolen program uh, the good thing with these is that things like the woolen that's a, uh, it won't allow you to wash any higher than 40 degrees so you couldn't go up to 60 because clearly you, you wouldn't want to be washing your woolens on that kind of temperature uh, you've got other programs here things like the anti-allergy program and that can go a little bit higher up to 60 degrees now a common question on washing machines are can I do a, a rinse and spin or can I just do a spin and drain and luckily on this machine yes you have got that option uh, so you've got the two options there so you've either got spin and drain or you have got the rinse and spin uh, again what you'll find is that that, that time of 55 minutes uh, is very rarely that long just for a rinse and spin it will very much depend on the, the load that you've got in there uh, but the beauty of this is that you can vary the, the spin speed so you can go up to 1400 if you want to uh, so for example on some of these programs where you've got the maximum of 1200 if you decided that you wanted to say just do a spin and drain then just pop it on the spin speed and you can uh, zip it up to 1400 if you wanted to as far as the next program around here is the baby program uh, clearly you're not going to be washing your baby uh, but this program is really designed for baby garments um, that could typically get soiled by having a baby uh, things like nappies or bibs uh, and what they tend to do is they tend to use a little bit more water for the program and it tends to soak the clothes for a bit longer uh, for the temperatures they are pretty flexible it goes up to a maximum of 40 degrees uh, the next program is the 20 degree program so what you'll find is that you you can only either change it from 20 or off uh, but this is really a program it's quite a good one actually because it can go up to a maximum of 1400 so you still get the full spin speed uh, but it's washing at the very low temperature um, and you can wash the full nine kilograms and the main advantage of using this kind of program is first of all it's a lot quicker than some of the cotton or especially the eco 40 to 60 program uh, but also it's washing at a much lower temperature and in turn that can save quite a lot of energy as you come around then you've got the, the duvet program and the white program so with the whites this is the main program so if you want to wash something at 90 degrees because uh, you know, clearly if you're going to wash things like your towels then you want them at a hot temperature uh, so that's the main program on the machine where you can wash at 90 uh, and again you can wash at the, the full 9 kilograms uh, as you come around here you've got some of the quick programs so I mentioned around here that these programs do take quite a while to wash uh, but if that's putting you off the machine then don't worry because what Hopwinds have done is they've thought about this and they've given us a couple of couple of quick programs around here so the first one is the 30 minute program uh, and with the 30 minute program that's really designed so that you can as far as the temperature it goes up to 30 degrees and the maximum spin speed is 800 uh, so it's not the full spin speed and it's not the full temperature but that's really designed as a four and a half kilogram load so it's just a just a half load that kind of program is good so if you've uh, say had something in the cupboard for a while if you just want to give it a freshen up then that's an ideal program uh, the next one is the 45 minute full load and as it's saying you can go up to nine kilograms with this uh, as far as the temperature it goes up to 40 degrees and as far as the spin speed it's a bit higher it goes up to 1200 uh, these kind of programs the these quick programs are good on the odd occasion uh, I suppose what we'd normally recommend is not to use them all the time so don't rely on putting all your clothes in using these programs because what you'll find first of all the washing performance won't be as good as using some of these longer programs uh, also engineers will state that using some of these quick programs doesn't get the machine clean as using some of the longer programs and then the last one here is the anti-stain 40 degrees and again that's designed to uh, wash at the full nine kilograms 
uh, again it is a longer program uh, but you can alter the temperature on here up to 40 degrees and the spin speed goes up to the full 1400. As we come into the right hand side of the display uh, let's just move that over here first of all you've got the time delay so what you can do is if you've got things like economy 7 uh, where you've got cheap electricity during the night then this is a really good option so that you can delay the start of the machine by up to 24 hours and then it just goes back to the normal time of the program uh, but the next option on here is called the key lock and if you press and hold that normally for about three seconds then what that will do is that will just stop little fingers coming along and playing with the the dials and the the buttons i know some of these uh, can look a li little bit like computer games sometimes uh, can be quite tempting for the for the young kiddies but again if you just press and hold that then well, although the the beeping is a little bit annoying uh, but i suppose it's just telling you what's happening the next option on here is the extra rinse and what this will do is this will add extra water in at the end of the program during the rinsing process. Now this can be really good if you've got somebody in the household with sensitive skin or allergies. Uh, it's not available on all of the programs and what it will do is if it's not available say on the cotton program then it will just beep at you. But if you move it around to say the synthetics then it will just the light will stay on. What you can find is it does add a little bit of time onto the program. So on this particular program, this synthetics, it goes from 2.55 up to 3.07. As we come over to the far right hand side, so just turn that button off. Uh, first of all, you've got the extra touch button. Now this actually performs two functions. Uh, first of all, it's got the rapid option. And on certain programs, because I did mention about the long programs, uh, on certain programs, then you can reduce the time. And if you press that, so that's taking it from 2.55 down to an hour and a half. So it's cut it pretty much in half. Uh, and that kind of thing can be really good. Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier about some of these quick programs, using the rapid option is, is a good idea um, if you are in a hurry. If you're not in a hurry, and especially if you're using it on time delay, then you are best to use some of the longer programs because uh, you can find that the washing performance will be better. Now the next option here is called Steam Hygiene. Uh, this is a really good function and I think a lot of people tend to ask for steam in the, uh, in the washing machines now. And what this does is it just enhances the washing performance by generating steam during the wash cycle. And what it, what it will do is it will remove any bacteria from the fibres. Uh, so it's, a, it's just an option that you can use. So again if you've got people in the household with sensitive skin uh, then the steam hygiene could be a really good option to look at. Uh, they do warn you in, in the instructions that inside the machine on the glass or well, on the door it can get a little bit hazy so don't worry it's just the steam within the program. And then the final button is the start and the pause button. Uh, what you'll find is they put the pause button on there mainly because what you can do is after you've started the program if you realize that you've got a, a say a little sock on the floor then rather than stopping the machine then you can just pause it uh, but that's really as long as the water level hasn't gone too high because what you don't want to be doing is to open the door and then you get soggy feet. To open the door on the washer is nice and easy you just got the handle on the right hand side and you just pull it. Uh, as far as the the door itself so the porthole is a nice big porthole that's it's something to try and point out to customers because uh, some machines some brands what they do is they have a, a nice big machine say a nine or ten kilogram and then the porthole is quite tiny so I'm, I'm pleased to see that hot point have given us a, a large porthole for getting the clothes in and out of and on this one so you're looking at 32 centimeters wide uh, as far as the, the hinges and the door catch both are metal uh, and again that's something I, I try and point out um, I know some people take it for granted but some some manufacturers mainly the cheaper brands are going towards plastic hinges and door catches and they're normally the first things that can break as far as the soap dryer on this machine, uh, Hotpoint came up with this kind of design several years ago. They've used this design for quite a few years, and I must say, people on the whole quite like this. Um, it's gone away from the traditional drawer that you pull out. Uh, one question we always get asked is, can you take this out to wash it? Because you'll find, I suppose with, with any washing machine, that the, the drawer itself can get a, a little bit clogged up, uh, depending on the powder or liquid that you're using. So you, clearly what you want to do is to take it out and give it a good wash on the odd occasion and it is easy all you do is you just lift it a little bit 
just so it releases it and then just pull the drawer itself so you just pull the inside and with this that can be taken out give it a nice hot wash if you want to you can pop it in the dishwasher and then to put it back on all you do is you just locate it on the left hand side here first and just make sure it's going in level and then just lift it a little bit and then you'll find that you just shut the door and then you're ready to go so I'll just show you around the back of the machine because for some people if you're installing it yourself then you might want to see how it all works from around the back uh, first of all you've got the transit bolts now these four bolts these are imperative to take out uh, you have to take them out because if you don't then it could damage the machine and that won't be covered under the warranty uh, on this particular machine the, as far as the guarantee you do get a 10 year parts and one year labour guarantee uh, that's something that can be quite good uh, but what you will find is to get the extended guarantee as far as the 10 year parts that you do need a hot point engineer to come out to replace those parts uh, as far as the, the water so that's at the top right here you do get a new hose with it as well and clearly the waste is at the bottom left and then you've got the mains at the top left here so everything's spread out quite nicely uh, the only thing I did forget to mention uh, I just realised as I was getting this out of the packet is you get this cheeky little item here and what this is this is designed to go in the soap drawer so if you were going to use liquid then just pop this in and what it would do is it will actually stop the liquid running out of the drawer before it's needed uh, it's something that some people ask us what it's for um, some people are surprised when you put the liquid in and it drains straight away uh, but that's what that's for so if you're going to use liquid within the program then that's what you need to do. I'll just show you the energy label on this machine. So as you can see, it's a C energy rating, which you can, if you're comparing it to other models in the similar price range, then that's really good. Uh, also, it shows you at 65 kilowatt hours per 100 cycles, 50 liters of water, uh, which, I mean, that will vary quite a lot depending on which program you're using. And of course, the three hours 40, that was for the, the main program that we're looking at, that was the Eco 40 to 60. That's what the, these are measured on. Uh, just proving that it's a nine kilogram load uh, and it's a B spinning efficiency. And also the noise level on this, 76 decibels, and that's rated at C. If you are thinking of buying one of these machines, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Clearly the color of this one is the graphite. Uh, this is quite a popular color with hot point appliances now. Uh, it is available in different colors as well. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Hotpoint NSWF944 washing machine. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video. If there's something I've missed that you wanted to know about the washing machine, then just pop in the comments and I'll get back to you. Because some people might watch the video thinking, ah, you might have covered that, but if I didn't cover it, then just pop it in as a, as a question, I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these machines or a model similar to this, then let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.